Joshua 18 begins, Now that the land was under Israelite control, the entire community of Israel gathered at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle. But there remained seven tribes who had not yet been allotted their grants of land. Then Joshua asked them, How long are you going to wait before taking possession of the remaining land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you? Under the leadership of Joshua, Moses' successor, Israel now controlled the Promised Land, the land that God gave them said to be flowing with milk and honey. So the people came together at Shiloh to set up the tabernacle. It must have been a time of great celebration. But there was also some unresolved business among the tribes. Joshua's question, in the original language, implied that a large amount of time had passed since the five tribes had settled in their territories. Why would these seven remaining tribes not want to take their land? Why would Joshua need to prod them? Commentators suggest that complacency is to blame. These tribes have become satisfied with their life on the west bank of the Jordan. After all, they'd not had a permanent dwelling place for a whole generation. And in their rut, it seems that they lack the faith and courage to go where God would take them, even if it was for their good. And that can happen to you and I as well. Keep in mind that our life in Christ is one of constant change and progress. Through the things God allows to come into our lives, as challenging and overwhelming as they may be at times, God is moving us, He's shaping us and changing us from who we used to be into the image of His Son, Jesus Christ. So here's my encouragement for you and I today. Let's make progress. Ask God to help you identify where you've fallen into a rut and to help you make progress in that specific area of your life. Remember, our goal is to be like Jesus.